people who provide that care to our military members who come back from defending our freedoms and maybe have experienced that injury that then these families um, have to be taken care of. So it often is uh, one of the spouses who is then making sure they're providing to make sure the kids get taken care of and go to uh, the activities, but also, or maybe the breadwinner, but uh, have to take care of all the legal and financial things with regard to the family, the complex medical conditions that maybe accompany their loved one and so forth. So we need to recognize these heroes in our society because this is a lot of work and it can take a lot of time. And those folks can then start feeling isolated where they are. And then that can lead to depression and deterioration of their health. So it's important that we recognize these hidden heroes here in Nebraska. Now in Nebraska, our goal is to be the most veteran and military friendly state in the country. Uh, with the help of uh, Senator Lowe and um, Tom, uh, well, Colonel Brewer, thank you, thank you, John. Colonel Brewer, uh, we passed LB-153, which is a 50% tax credit on our military retirement benefits for our veterans here in the state. And that is a great step forward to be more competitive, to hold on to our veterans here in the state. But we've also done a number of other things uh, around especially job opportunities for spouses of active duty military. For example, we extend them the same hiring preferences here at the state that we do for our veterans. We've made it easier to get licensing uh, with the Uniform Credentialing Act, with the Nurse Compact, so that you can, if you have a nurse license someplace else, you can use it here in Nebraska. I signed a regulation that allows teachers to do the same sort of thing. They can come here and get a three-year temporary license. Uh, we do that with real estate agents. We do it with attorneys, really trying to help those uh, active duty families to be able to integrate into our communities, to be able to, to make it uh, more accommodating for those families to move to Nebraska. We've also recognized our military families with uh, new uh, five new license plates, for example, as another way to recognize our military families. And so today, what we're going to do is talk about what we're doing with regard to the hidden heroes. We're going to be, I mean, in a few minutes here, I'm just going to sign this proclamation, and we will be the fourth state to have a hidden heroes proclamation. And there's 156 communities across this country that are recognizing those hidden heroes. And again, this is done in conjunction with the Elizabeth Dole Foundation to recognize those, those families. Today, we have a special guest with us that is going to be talking about this, and that's Andrea Dorsey. And she is the uh, wife of Joe Dorsey, who was injured in Iraq with an improvised explosive device and has experienced back and neck pain um, and uh, also the invisible wounds that go along with it, the, the, you know, the mental trauma that goes along with being in combat. And so she has worked to be able to find resources to be able to help him both within the VA and outside the VA to be able to manage the injuries that he has received, and of course continues to make sure that they work to continue to keep the family. They've got, got a couple of kids. One of their kids is with us today. Joey is here with us today. So uh, we've got a great family here. And first of all, I want to say, Joe, thank you very much to your serv for your service to our country. We really appreciate it. And, and and I know Joey's proud of his dad and his mom. So good job, Joey. And then also, so Andrea is here to talk a little bit about the challenges that our military caregivers encounter when they're working to take care of their loved one and their families and all the issues that go into this when we're talking about, again, just from getting kids to activities to making sure that their loved one has the proper medical care to the legal, financial, complex medical issues, all those sort of things. So, Andrea, would you please come up and, oh, sorry, i got to sign the proclamation first. Hold on. Don't, I'm getting ahead of myself. 